Baby, don't you know there's a hard time I guess it was about f four or five years ago, I was playing with a banjo player named Morgan O'Kane, and um, I came here as part of the Morgan O'Kane band. And then a couple of years after that, I was touring with a band called the Carolina Chocolate Drops, very well-known African-American string band, and we played here. It's just been a real honor and a pleasure to be asked and invited back as myself. I just released a solo album this year, and so, uh, actually have a body of material that I'm ready to present. The album is a tribute to Langston Hughes. It includes a lot of music that I wrote to Langston Hughes's poetry. And Langston Hughes is a very well-known African-American poet, was a big part of the Harlem Renaissance, and just was a, a very prolific writer in general, and has been someone who's been very influential creatively to me. And so that's the bulk of the songs, but then I included a lot of Haitian folk music, and I think that the connection there is just Langston Hughes inspired all this creativity, and it kind of led me back to my roots in this way that I don't think I would have done without writing the other songs. The perfect workshop, it would be artists that really listen to each other and invite each other to play, but also artists that know when to not play. <laughs> it can be a very intimate thing, you know? Even this morning that happened, I was with Martha Redbone and Josh White Jr. and the Blue Warblers. I wasn't really familiar with their music too much, so I didn't know what to expect. I did a, a workshop with Martha yesterday, so I, I knew more what to expect from her band. Um, Josh White Jr., just on the guitar, Blue Warblers, kind of Appalachian, old-time string band. Um, but I didn't know what the songs were gonna be like, and I think that's one of the things that I enjoy about the workshops is I very rarely have decided beforehand what songs I'm gonna do. I have like a general plan of ideas of songs, but then it's fun to play off of other people's songs and get inspired in that way. Like when you're listening to another band and you think like, oh, I should do this song next because that just feels like the right thing, you know? And, and it, it, it's funny, it doesn't have to necessarily be the same genre or the same kind of music, but I think the themes really help tie everything together. And it's interesting for the audiences, I think, to see how the artists interact with each other. I think it's such a big operation, but it's run so smoothly. It just feels like everyone knows what their job is and everyone knows who to ask or where to go or, you know, it just feels really easy to to be here. You know, as an artist, I think there are other experiences that I've had and many other artists have had that kind of feel like, what are we doing? Where are we going? Who do we ask? And, and here, everything feels very streamlined. And so it's, it makes everything else easier, you know? Then you can really be creative and feel free and comfortable. Don't you know there's a hard time of coming? I can feel it in my soul. Hard time of coming. Baby, don't you know there's a hard time of coming?